What's going on guys, FlyDBZ here, and we got new information on the Legendary Arena. So, I'm actually pretty excited for that, but let's get right into the news. Uh, let's actually go to Twitter very quickly. Uh, I think the news is somewhere down here. Yup, right here. Big shout out to Absolutely once again with the data mine info. Uh, but yeah, the medals for this event look amazing. Uh, and I can't wait to get these medals. Like, they look amazing. <laughs> like, they actually do. But anyways, let's get into the information. So, as we can see, the start date is 7-7-2020. Uh, and uh, it's coming out at 6 p.m. UTC. I think that's p.m. Uh, but anyways, uh, it is coming out on the 7th of July. So, we got seven more days. And if you don't have your sync pairs ready, definitely level them up and uh you got seven days so you basically got a week until the event comes out so you're fine and the end date is on uh the 21st so you got like two weeks until the event goes away or to do the event and uh yeah so that's when the event is coming out and when this is the Le legendary arena season two so that's how they're gonna go about it um so yeah the boss weakness is fire as i was expecting I, I'm so happy and it makes sense that the boss uh, or Cobalion is going to be uh, weak to fire because you got Delphox that just came out with Serena and uh, it just makes complete sense. Really, it really does, especially with the weaknesses and uh, what you need to do for the event. Uh, so yeah, but we'll get into that. So once again, the limited sync pairs are 30. Uh, so it's like the the first legendary arena with Entei that hasn't changed at all um, And then the boss hint uh, apply multiplier status conditions block incoming physical attacks and so he is gonna be a physical attacker, so my my team would probably consist with uh, physical attack and defensive Pokemon Obviously, but my main one like uh, that I'm gonna have with my Charizard is gonna be Torterra Because every time Cobalion is gonna attack my Char my Torterra His attack is gonna get lowered until he uh, decides to get rid of all of the debuffs uh, I think that's how he's gonna go about it, but that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have Torterra in for the attack lowering every time he gets hit uh, But anyways the opponent takes less damage when it is not affected by status condition Okay, so when he doesn't have a status condition, he does more damage. Wait, the opponent takes less damage when it is not affected by a status condition. Okay, okay. So when he is affected like by burn or uh, poison or something, he's going to be doing more damage. So if you don't want to take a crazy amount of damage, I definitely recommend to not put a status condition on him. Does that mean like having his stats lowered too, or it does it just apply with paralyze, uh, burn? I guess we'll have to find that out. Uh, when an opponent recovers from a status condition, it resistance to to it increases. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing like the Entei, so I don't think that's anything new, but that's still cool. Um. Watch out for these, so physical attacks, yeah, so he's going to be a physical attacker. Uh, even in the games, Cobalion was not a special attacker. The Sword of Justice trio, they're, they're physical attackers, and like the Sword of Justice, I don't think they're the sword that is a special attack. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, focus on these, sleep and burn. So yeah, obviously, that's where Delphox comes in, because you got Hypnosis on Delphox that is boosted with the accuracy when uh, you use her uh, Serena and Delphox's like main like ability to boost uh, the accuracy and stuff like that so yeah with uh, the sleep and uh, Delphox being a fire type and Delphox increasing his attack every time the uh, the opponent is asleep is crazy so Delphox is gonna be like the main Pokemon you're gonna be using in here uh, but yeah uh, you got uh, mission rewards now too, or you got them before too, uh, but you get 2,000 sync orbs, 300 gems, uh, the bronze Cobalion's challenger medal, and then you got the silver Cobalion medal, 
then you got the gold Cabali medal, medal and then you got the uh, Cobalt uh, Cobali medal, the four star. Um, so yeah, that's it. the the way to get them is probably going to be the same thing as Entei, uh, but we're not 100% sure unless it says later on in this information. But like the medals just look amazing, and if you don't want to collect the medals, that's fine. Uh, a lot of collectors that play Pokemon Masters are easily going to be going for these medals, 100%. I know I'll be going for them, uh, but <laughs> but yeah. So stage three, Cobalion's Challenger Part One Arena Power is seventeen thousand five hundred. So stage one is gonna be, or stage three, whatever, is gonna be the easiest one, of course. Just like Entei, uh, reduce HP gauge to one. Uh, reduce HP gauge one to zero percent. First time, uh, first time by doing that, you get fifty gems. Three star level up manuals, you get twenty of them, and the general reward is our training item. So it's basically gonna be like the same one as uh Entei and then for reducing HP gauge 2 to 0% first time rewards 50 gems elite 4 nodes 10 general rewards chaining items so in total for all three it looks like for taking out the uh HP gauges three times uh you're gonna be able to get 200 gems so that's pretty cool um and then for the general rewards, you're going to be getting uh, training items when you beat it. And then for the uh, third HP gauge, though, you're going to be getting a four star power up. So that's cool. And then for part two, uh, for Cobalion's uh, challenge part two, area power is 29,000 flat. So that's uh, a big jump from the first one. But it's the same thing as uh, Entei, so that's nothing new. Uh, reduce HP gauge to uh, 1 to 0% first time 50 gems uh, 3 star level up manuals 50 and then general rewards training items um, and then for the second HP gauge you get 50 gems elite 4 notes 15 and then the general rewards training items and then uh, third HP gauge 100 gems 5 star power up and trading items and then for the third part of the area is going to be 31,000 uh, for the power and then for the first HP gauge you get 100 gems and uh, 50 3 star level up manual so that's pretty good and then training items as usual for the general reward and then for the third HP gauge or the second HP gauge you get 100 gems and 20 elite 4 notes and training items for the general rewards for the HP gauge 3 you get 200 gems and uh, training items so you don't get anything like uh, elite four notes or uh all whatever items you're getting in the previous ones on the third gauge because they're just like okay you don't get anything because we already uh, gave you so much <laughs> that's how i see it uh but but yeah so that's everything for the cobalion that is that has been data mined from the looks of it uh, there could be more or there could be change up to this, but I guess we'll have to find out in seven days um, But yeah, I can't wait for this event uh, the rewards you get so okay. So how many gems do you get? Uh, so for mission rewards you get 300 there uh, and then over here for the first one uh, 350 400 500 550 600 700 800 900 so you get 1100 gems for this cobalion uh event and that's that's pretty good that's pretty good and that's not including with your logins and uh, all this other stuff that's going on in the game too so i keep saying this <laughs> in every video definitely save up for the one year anniversary if you don't have Delphox going into this event, that's totally fine. If you have Red, you're still going to get through this event pretty quick. Um, even with the Entei, like, I don't know how much they're going to increase the difficulty with the AI. Because uh, I know with Entei, uh, he was difficult for sure, especially on the 3 star. I didn't even beat Entei's uh, third stage. <laughs> but maybe with this one, I'll, I'll be able to. Because I'm actually going to try for stage 3. And I'll definitely be recording each phase uh, or each stage. So... Or I might just do one long video trying to take on all, all three stages, but whatever. 
But like I said, if you don't have Delphox, that's totally fine. Uh, he's weak to fire type, and we have a ton of fire types, including uh, Ho-Oh. If you didn't farm up Ho-Oh, then, well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I mean, Ho-Oh is good. He is. But obviously, if you have Charizard and Delphox, I think you'll be just fine. Uh, but that's going to be it for the video. Um, again, big shout out to Absolutely for this data mine. Um, and if you're excited for the Legendary Arena Cobalion uh, Season 2 this time, let me know in the comments below and what teams you're planning on taking on with uh, for this event. I know I'm definitely going to be spamming Charizard, uh, as a lot of people are. <laughs> Charizard is, is just going to dominate in here along with all fire types, but, but yeah, that's going to be it, and I'll see you guys on the next video.